Okay. Here we have a generic skeleton model, and we first we're going to scale it to the subject. Now we go to tools and select scale model, and we select preserve mass distribution, marker data from measurement, and also you can change the weight of your subject. Now we select the calibration TRZ file here, and also the same file here. Now we go to static post weight here, and we have to deselect those red items. Okay. Now we can, we are able to run this. We can leave this as default and we can run the scale process. And now another model will show up. And then we can also load the experimental data, which is the TRC file we just used. You can see the blue dots are the experimental data, and it's actually very close or very similar to the scaled model we have. So, so we're good with the scaling process, and we can close the generic model, and we just leave the scaled model here and perform inverse kinematics. Go to tools and select inverse kinematics. Marker data for trial, select the activity TRC file. Here is the sprint TRC, click open. And then make sure there's no red here and you can see it's able to run. We can uh, select output files where we want to output it. File name, test, does not exist, okay. It's okay for now, you can just do it later and we can run. You can see it will start to move and you can drag it on top or play it by loop with your speed. And you can save this TRC file, uh, this XML file, sorry, as sprint test that we can use in the future to run it again. After the inverse kinematics, we can see there is a results in the navigation window and we can right click and save as, and we'll save the motion file that if you didn't save in previously. See test one here. And we can see there is a test one file that contains the joint angles from the inverse kinematics. Thank you.